Hello everybody, my name is Will from Ghost Hack and today I have a little production basics video for you guys where I will teach you how to use slide notes inside FL Studio's Piano Roll. Now slide notes are a special feature that is found only in FL Studio and basically it looks like a normal note, like this, but it has a little slide triangle on it and looks like this. And what these are used for is if you are playing something with a plugin and you want that note to slide up or down to a certain level at a certain time. The slide note gives you control over that. Now it will not work with plugins that are not native to FL Studio. It is purely an FL Studio feature, as I have said, but it is a very efficient way to essentially achieve a pitch bend and other complicated maneuvers. And I highly recommend you watch through to understand how this works so you can use it in your productions. So slide notes are the name of the game today. Let's hop inside FL Studio. So here we are inside FL Studio. And as you can see, I have a 3X oscillator pulled up that just has a sine wave. And I have a fantastic track going with just a middle C. However, I want this middle C to slide up to a G. Now if I just add another note, all we get is a little two note harmony and we want it to slide. The first thing you could do is to double click and then from here you could select this little triangle shape which will turn it into a slide note but there's an easier way to do this if you right click to delete the note you can now go up to this little triangle here click that and any note you add while that is selected dark will be a slide note and as you can see we have the little triangle in the corner to indicate that it is a slide note and obviously where the slide note is on the keyboard is going to determine where your note is sliding to obviously it's going to slide up to a G because the slide note is on G but the length of your slide note is also extremely important because we have a slide note just the length of these four beats which means it is going to take a full four beats to slide up from C5 all the way up to G5 If I want this slide to be shorter, I can obviously just shorten the note. Obviously the beginning of the slide note here is going to be when the slide actually starts and the end of the slide note is when the slide is going to begin. So now it only takes one beat to slide from C5 to G5. I can even maybe delay this here. So it starts playing C5 and then after one beat it starts to slide up and by the second beat it reaches G5 and holds it for the last two beats. Or I can hold the ALT button, I can click here and drag this to be extremely short. So it just immediately whip slides up to that G. And from here I could even add more slide notes on top of this. For example, maybe I want it to go up an octave to the next C here. The point I'm making here is that you can create kind of complex patterns with these slide notes. And then when you want to put down regular notes again, just uncheck the slide and then you can add a regular one. But there's one more thing I want to show you here and that's if you want to slide two notes in multiple directions. This is where it gets really fun. Now, not a lot of people actually decide that they want to do this in your song, but if you do, this is how you can do it. You may notice that all my notes here are green. They're this default green color that FL Studio has, which looks very nice, but all the green notes are going to slide with the green slide notes. But if we change the color, we can tell a different note to not slide with this one. For example, if I click on this green, we now have some color options. Green is one. I'm just going to choose five here because it's a nice blue. Now if I add a note, say a G, this G will remain constant throughout the whole time that this green note is sliding. But what is even more interesting is if you add another slide note specifically for this blue note. So now we have blue selected here, so we can click slide and now add a note. Say this G at the bottom, let's say we wanted to slide down to the G, maybe here. Or perhaps we can layer them. We have two notes sliding in different directions and you can do this a bunch of times here. 16 times in total, actually. You can have 16 different notes sliding in different directions. Now again, I don't know if that is something that is actually practical to use in music production, but it is definitely a useful tool to know that you can change the color of your notes and control what notes are being slid. So we can change, say, back to green and we can delete these notes and we're back with our typical one note setup. So there is a straightforward tutorial about how slide notes work inside FL Studio. 
I hope this was helpful to you if you're a beginner or maybe you're just learning FL Studio and looking at FL Studio's functions. It's a very unique program and there are a lot of possibilities. But no matter what skill level you are, you can hit subscribe for more music production tutorials. And I will see you in the next video. Happy producing.